Hey guys, this is Eric from TechniqueTV.com and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to simply access your pictures from your digital camera. Now this video is a little bit more basic but it's still something that many people including parents or grandparents or maybe even people that just aren't good with technology struggle to get the concept of and I'm here to make it a little bit easier for you. Now most cameras that people own is this. This is what's called a point and shoot camera. It's a normal couple hundred dollar camera that you could pick up anywhere and they're nice because you could carry it around and it's not a big uh, time waster like a DSLR some people would call where you always have to be changing lenses and whatnot. But it's made for the normal consumer and everybody wants to know how do you get your pictures off this simply. Now this camera along with most of them come with a CD and everything that tries to get you to set up. Oh here's an easy way how to get it on. That's very very difficult. Like once you get a few cameras you don't know which cords go to what but I'm gonna show you how pretty much the whole process is standardized down to professional cameras all the way down to things like your cell phone okay so the first thing you want to do is you're gonna to want to find your camera you need to find out where the memory card is in most cases it'll be what's called an SD card it looks something like the ones I have laid out here normally they're gonna be like two or four gigabytes for a small one but they're much easier to upgrade and you're going to want to open up right where your battery is. Now I'm going to insert one of these just to show you. Oops, wrong way. And see, this is where the battery is right here for this one. So what you normally are just going to do, you're going to press it, it's going to pop out halfway, and then you could take it out. Now once you have the SD card out, you're going to want to find a way to put it in your computer. Now most computers, they'll have a spot for you to put in this SD card drive, most likely near the CD drive, floppy drive, whatever you have. Normally it's going to be like that, but for my instance, or for many of you, I have one on my desktop computer, but on my laptop, there's not enough room. So what I did is I went to my local computer store and picked this up for around $10. It's just a USB to SD card reader and writer. They're, like I said, five, ten bucks. Really simple, kind of cheap, and it's the best way to do it for tra easy travel or a laptop. Now what you're then going to do is you're just going to stick in your memory card and just like a normal USB drive, hopefully you're all familiar with this, you're just going to want to plug it into the side and you're ready to go. It's going to act the same way like a USB drive. You're going to go to my computer, it's going to come up on the side, it's going to tell you what the name, usually the name of the card is the brand name or your computer name or something like that. So then you're going to double click on that and you're going to see all of your pictures much easier than it would loading software and plugging in a bunch of cables and everything. This standardizes the process. I use the same way on my nice DSLR camera and I just wanted to show everyone this because I know a lot of people struggle with an easy way. Now you might be saying, well Eric I don't have a SD card, I have something similar. Well, there's many other adapters that you can get that plug into your computer. If you have an SD card but you don't use one in your camera but you have the slot on your computer, then just buy another adapter. It's, it's very easy and it's the same concept. Uh, any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Check out our other videos. Go to our channel. There's a bunch of us that run this channel, four guys. And we're here to help you with uh, your technology questions. So any requests or anything, just pop it in the comment section below. And be sure to thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye.